Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and spending part of your day with me. I am so excited to get to share with you a new box from Appalachian Mercantile or Appalachian, however you like to pronounce it. Now this is not one of their subscription boxes. I have opened their quarterly subscription box in the past here on the channel, which is basically the same as their monthly subscription. It just doesn't come quite as often. This is actually in their gift boxes section on their website, but I will leave a direct link for you in the description box below. Now right now through the end of June, they are offering a free tote bag with any purchase of $100 or more using the code free tote. But this box is only only $55, but it has a retail value of $70. So you are getting a nice deal. And I have to say, I'm very impressed with the presentation. So it came in a big outer box, nice and protected. And then this gorgeous gift box was inside. So I love this kind of rustic wire ribbon and then this nice subtle branding here down on the corner. Now this box was kindly sent to me for review and I really love the products that I have received in the past from Appalachian Mercantile. So I'm super excited to get into this box and to share all of the goodies inside with all of you. So now I have to like mess up the bow, which is a little bit of a bummer because I know I'll never be able to make it quite as pretty again, but they did, like I said, a great job and I could totally see this being a fantastic like summer gift to send to someone again because of how it arrives and it does always have some delicious ingredients inside. It's usually more edible items and ingredients than it is like lifestyle products, but there is usually one or two of those included as well and of course all of these products are made in that Appalachian region so I'm trying to see how to best open up this box I think it's just got like a nice lid to it so it does and then inside we just have all the black shred so I think in the past they've always had like brown shred so this is a little bit more dramatic this time but nestled inside we do have some of their paperwork is what I'm gonna go ahead and call it so this is actually nice this looks like a little like product pamphlet of other things that they have and again Appalachian Mercantile is part of JQ Dickinson Saltworks I believe so it just tells us a little bit what a beautiful barn they've got there. It's talking about welcome to the JQ Dickinson Appalachian Mercantile. We are seventh generation natives of the Kanawha, Kanawha Valley of West Virginia. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I apologize. Through reviving our family's salt business, JQ Dickinson Salt Works, we have gotten to know some of the best artisans of the region. It's our mission to share these fine products with the world as they're rarely found outside their own state. Authenticity rings through every food, craft, and home good. You won't be disappointed. Supporting small local business is what we do best. We hope you enjoy our products as much as we do. Nancy and Lewis. So this is so cool, you guys. And I love that little note. I think I've actually gotten to talk to Nancy via email a few times. It talks about their history, their bespoke goods. This is such a nice little like backstory pamphlet that they included. So I do love that. I've never seen that before. And then we have their, uh, this looks a little bit more familiar. This is their product card. So on the back, it is going to tell us all of the stuff that we got inside. Um, it doesn't have the individual retail values, but it is something that you can probably easily find on their website because they aren't just a gift box and subscription box company, of course. So I'm going to prop this up in front of me. Now, the first thing that I am seeing right on top looks like an art print. So we're starting with one of the non-edible items in here. This is by Laura Paulette. It says, Laura is inspired by by her natural surroundings in rural Kentucky. These are the wild edibles that Appalachians often forage for in the spring, summer, and fall. So it is a Appalachian edibles print. So let me just go ahead and open this up. It is called Foraged. It is a watercolor. It came in a nice uh, sleeve, but I wanted to go ahead and open it up so you guys don't see the glare. But this is lovely. I could totally see this looking great in your like very country kitchen or what have you. And just like the detail of that is so amazing. I was always like really amazed by like scientific watercolors, but I love those vibrant colors. I think that is a nice little addition. It's always hard for me when you receive art prints because unless it's your personal style, it seems like something that's hard to include in a box. But I 
I do think that is a nice inclusion. The next thing I am seeing, this is very like quirky. It says Appalachian Huntsman. It's the Mothman steak and brisket dust. And it's got this little like cartoon moth guy on the front. This is really funny to me. So let me see what this is. It says Chad Eirich loves West Virginia folklore. Mothman is the most famous of these mythical creatures. This seasoning blend is perfect before grilling, braising, or roasting meats. And of course it is made in West Virginia. So I love any like seasoning rubs. It just like makes cooking so much easier. And of course, this is the time for grilling. So this seems like an easy way to make a delicious meal. Now, this next thing that I am finding kind of nestled in there and then everything else, you guys, is really buried. I'm going to have to dig in here. Um, this is familiar because I actually received this same item in one of their quarterly boxes. It's this really cool ceramic match striker. I just think it is so neat because, of course, this glaze is made to look like matches, but it is kind of a rough texture. You can even kind of like hear it with my fingers rubbing against it. So you can actually light a match with by striking it against this, which I just think is so cool. And of course, I love love that they also included some matches for us inside and what a great like way of displaying your matches and they're even cool because they've got those like green tips so you can actually use this as a little vessel you can use it as a like tea light holder um, but then you can also have your matches just kind of sitting in there maybe like a bunch of different colored match head which would be really fun and then you just strike the edge of it and it does actually work because I have tried it so I just think this is a great piece kind of like a great talking piece as well so let's see this is again by East Wheel clay works this clay pot is great to keep on the mantle or by the fire pit and can also be used for sauces and spreads so it's actually safe uh, food safe that's cool it's also made in West Virginia so very very cool this this like isn't a part of the country that I have not had the opportunity to explore very much now the next thing ooh. now I know why they had such a big box and then again this box you guys came in a bunch of packing peanuts in a really huge box it is because there are some fragile items in here and I so appreciate that they did a great job with the shipping I'm really thrilled about this because you guys it is a candle this might be my first candle from Appalachian Mercantile Appalachian wood smoke by lineage it is 100% soy wax look how gorgeous it is this looks like one of those repurposed bottles where they just cut the top off and then polish the edge I'm not sure if it is but it's a beautiful amber color and I can't wait to smell what it smells like Oh wow, that is so, so nice. Now I'm gonna have to burn it clean because it did get some of that shred dust on the top. It just looks a little bit speckled. But it smells so so good you guys now sometimes when you get like a wood smoke candle it's almost like too much it smells like you just came home from a campfire this just has that hint of smokiness um but oh, it's so nice it says this soy based candle gives you the sense of the outdoors it has a clean rustic aroma that's a good description of it this candle will burn for up to 50 hours it is made in the shenandoah valley of virginia Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. It's just like there's a little bit of like smokiness at the very end, but it does smell very like woodsy, I guess, um, which makes sense, right? But I am really excited. That will probably be my favorite item in the summer collection, which should not surprise anyone. Here is another very hefty item. Ooh, this looks really good. I think we have actually gotten uh, something from them before the same brand, but not this particular item. It's a uh, sorghum yellow mustard barbecue southern sauce. I probably read that in totally the wrong order, but look how giant this jar is, this bottle is, you guys. This is awesome. So um, I'm so excited to get all this delicious food stuff. It says Ian Bowden, Appalachian chef extraordinaire of Staunton, Virginia, loves sorghum, which is the region's go-to sweetener. This sauce has the addition of mustard to it, which gives it a real tang, delicious on beef and pork. You can kind of see in there, it's pretty like liquidy, so it seems like it might make like a good marinade. I bet on their website they might have some really good um, recipes. It says it's got sorghum syrup, cider vinegar, and water, and then mustard. Um, there's like a, when it tells you the ingredients of the mustard, salt, starch, and spices. So I'm so intrigued by this. It says, Sweet sorghum was introduced to the American South in the 1850s, where it quickly grew in popularity among farmers looking for local alternatives to the more expensive sugarcane and beet sugar available at the time. Its mellow and unique sweetness, as well as its hearty growth in hot and dry climates, made it a longtime staple for subsistence farming communities. Large-scale commercial sweetener production hurried the decline of sorghum as a food crop, but a resurgence is underway for this distinctive traditional bit of the American South. So it's a sauce, but like I said, it looks pretty liquidy, so I 
I feel like it's going to be more of a marinade. I wonder, sometimes they do include a recipe, but I've not seen like a recipe card in here. But I, like I said, I'm sure I can find something delicious to make with that. Um, so let me just see. I think there might be one more item in here. I kind of have to like dig. It's kind of fun actually. Another glass bottle. They did a great job of none of these glass items. There were three of them uh, managed to run into one another in all of this shred. This, oh, this is gonna be good. It says Crescent Simples, no preservatives, uh, strawberry basil simple syrup. So this is going to go into some delicious cocktails. So I am loving all of the cocktail syrups I've been getting in different subscription boxes. What a fun way to like have your own little party at home or as we start to invite guests over again to do something a little bit special than all of the like usual like standard like things that you might have in your home bar. So let's see what it says about this. This is by Crescent Simples again. This natural simple syrup is the perfect summer sweetener add to tea, a cocktail, or to sweeten your sparkling water. So you can make a nice easy mocktail. This is also made in Virginia. So you guys, I thought this summer collection was fantastic. It's actually a really nice balance in terms of the items that are not edible. We got the candle, we got the print, and we got the match striker. So great items for the home love the candle still my favorite and then the other three items were edible we got our basil strawberry basil simple syrup which is going to be really nice so something you can drink our mothman steak and brisket dust dust which you can use to season something and then also of course the sorghum barbecue sauce from the shack so again nice balanced summer collection it has a value of $70 but it's only 55 and if you do a little more shopping on the website you can also get that free tote if I wind up having a discount code that is unique and just for this box I will definitely include that for you in the description box below so make sure you do check it out let me know what your favorite item in this box was in the comments below if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up thank you again so much to the Appalachian Mercantile for sending this box to me hopefully I see you all very very soon in my my next unboxing.